In this video, I'm going to talk about the stock market in 2022 and predictions for 2023. But before we get started, don't forget to stick around until the end of the video for a special bonus that will help you succeed in the world of investing. As a beginner in investing, I understand that the stock market can sometimes seem intimidating and confusing. But with the right knowledge and resources, it doesn't have to be. Over the past year, we have seen the stock market go through a number of ups and downs, mainly downs, with a number of industries taking a big hit due to the ongoing pandemic. In particular, the travel and hospitality industry has been one of the hardest hit, with many companies in these sectors struggling to stay afloat. Technology stock prices have taken a major blow as well. But despite the past year's challenge, it's important to remember that the stock market has a long history of weathering economic downturns and recessions. In fact, many experts believe that the stock market is actually a leading indicator of economic recovery as it tends to bounce back strong after a recession. So what does that mean for the stock market in 2023 and beyond? Well, based on what we have seen in the past, it's likely to continue to see fluctuations go up and down. But that doesn't mean it's not a good time to invest. In fact, it's a great time to start preparing for 2023, and there are a few reasons for this. First and foremost, the stock market has a strong track record of growth and stability over the long term. While there may be bumps in the road along the way, the overall trend has been upwards. Secondly, there's a number of factors that suggest that the stock market is poised for growth in the coming years. From a strong economy to rising corporate profits, there are plenty of reasons to be optimistic about the stock market's future. So if you're someone that is looking to start building your portfolio, now is a great time to start doing your research and considering which companies to buy. And if you're feeling a little overwhelmed or unsure where to start, don't worry, I got you. Be sure to join my mailing list so you can receive my free stock market guide sheet. Click the link in my description to get access to that sheet to help you get started on your investing journey. Also, I'm going to be launching a stock market course for beginners. If this is something that interests you, click the link up above. The first 50 people to join my mailing list will get early access to this course for free. To give you a little taste of what you can expect in the stock market beginners course, here are a few strategies that you can use to invest in the stock market. First thing is diversify your portfolio. One of the most important things to remember when investing in the stock market is to diversify your portfolio. This means investing in a variety of different stocks and sectors rather than putting all your eggs in one basket. This can help you reduce your risk and increase the chance of earning a good return on your investment. Next, you wanna create a long-term plan. When it comes to investing in the stock market, it's important to have a long-term perspective. Rather than making quick profits, Focus on building your portfolio designed to grow and generate income over a long term. Another thing that you may want to consider is using a financial advisor. If you're new to the stock market, you may want to consider using a financial advisor because they can help you create a customized investment plan based on your financial goals and your risk tolerance. Use stop loss orders. A stop loss order is a tool that allows you to set a predetermined price at which you will sell a stock if it falls below a certain value. This can help protect your investment in the event of a market downturn. Next is invest regularly. Rather than trying to time the market, consider investing a set amount of money on a regular basis such as either a month, weekly, or even quarterly. This strategy is known as dollar cost averaging, and it can help reduce the impact of market fluctuations on your investments. This may be one of the most important strategies. Do your research before investing in any stock. Be sure to research and thoroughly analyze the company's financials, management, and industry trends. This will help you make informed decisions about which stocks to buy. So don't wait, start preparing for 2023 and your future. They say the best time to invest was yesterday. The second best time is now. And don't forget to join my mailing list for even more tips and resources to help you succeed in the world of investing. And if you found this video helpful, I have linked another video for you to watch next on 10 reasons why you should start investing with Yahoo Finance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.